catch a little interview with Paul. All right, so we're here at the Blackbird booth, and, and we're uh, we're going to talk to Joe, Joe in a second. But we have uh, Paul here. Paul's been uh, with Blackbird how, how long now? Five years now. Five years. And I know years ago when we signed up with RKS, you were one of the designers. That's right. That's right. I was the guy behind the let's make a guitar, not a guitar stand. Yeah. Yeah. And those those guitars, I still think, are some of the sexiest ever. Thank so. You. Good job on that, but I'm stoked that you're with Blackbird. That's right. That's right. We've been developing this eco material for five years now. Got two ukuleles and two gorgeous guitars. And it seems like it's the most um, acoustically pleasing alternative material I've ever heard for instruments. I mean, stringed instruments, you know? Yeah, the uh, resonance is so close to wood. Uh, we've got this new finish where we've Use the linen. Uh, the, the way that you're layering the. Yeah, we're the using the, 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 the same linen as we use for the tops, we're now using for the backs and the neck, the facial layer. And so we've got a much more refined looking. It's kind of like uh, Indian laurel or mahogany. Right, yeah. Because it doesn't have as much of the, the cross grain, yeah. exactly, yeah. That's nice. Um, does that affect the tone? It uh, makes it a little bit lighter, a little bit stronger. It's a really nice uh, uh, kind of an adaptation of the, our use of materials. Oh, that's a good thing. Then. Yeah. 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 Very cool. So thanks, Paul. You're welcome. Um, we're going to catch a quick interview with Joe. Cool. And then we'll catch up soon. Maybe we can go grab something to eat. Yeah. All right. So we're here with Joe. We just we got a quick interview with Paul. Awesome. Yeah. but. Um, why don't you just take us from the top on what you're showing people this year? Awesome, yeah, so as far as ukuleles, hello everyone. Uh, this, of course, is Clara, and um, our first ECOA instrument we started with in 2013. Now all of our instruments are ECOA. So that's the first big story is that we're not doing- No more carbon fiber. Not for now, and we, of course, we use carbon fiber throughout because we learned how to use that from Racing, years yeah. and years, yeah, Ferrari, blah, blah, blah. So, but we decided to make the transition because frankly, um, the sound of the ECOA is something that we want to focus on and we don't want to have too many models. And so uh, for now, we're just making the ECOA stuff. The big news is um, the back uh, is now a new finish. We call it ECOA M and it's it's more of a exotic hardwood, if you will, but it's of course made out of our linen fiber. So we're still making everything out of the linen from the flax plant, right? Most eco-friendly, stiffest natural fiber um, and also highest performance natural fiber. So it just took us a while to figure out how to make that finish look just like exotic hardwood. They say Indian uh, laurel. Uh, I say mahogany because most people know what mahogany is, but uh, it's beautiful. Um, so that's the big news. That took us a lot of R&D to figure out how to make a whole new kind of version of ECOA. Um, the sound is as good as ever, I think. My ukulele playing unchanged. <laughs> Still awesome. Yeah, and uh, so uh, Farallon, same deal, same back, ECOA M. Uh, and the same with the guitars. Maybe I could steal one of these. But yeah, just to show you that. Okay. Really, the finished thing oh, took us a So long here's time. the old one. Uh, the old, old one, yeah. Old and new. So A to B. So old, new, um, and you can see there's no cross stitch. So that's a big deal. Uh, otherwise, we were doing a lot more custom stuff. This is actually Mike Hines. He just put his sticker on there. So we're not really doing these vinyls, but a lot more inlays. And this one has a, a scrimshaw, which is like. Um, pointillism with ink and an inlay done by Larry Robinson and um, Bob Hergert. So we, we work with different artists and we can kind of help realize people's dream instruments. This was a very extensive inlay for us. So how, how would that work as far as, um, say a customer um, sends us an image and says, you know, what would it cost for Blackbird to inlay this? And, and then you would come back to me with an estimate and you know, rough time frame. Thing. Yeah, exactly. So we, we like that the client leads with an, in the design if possible. Otherwise, it can be as simple as, you know, I want a dragon or my initials and just get the process started. But usually you're committing to buying an instrument and then we explore the inlay process. And it is a process. And uh, so the more direction the client can give in general, I think is the best because the outcome is ideally driven by the client. Otherwise, Give us a motif, and we'll get you a price. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, it's pretty easy. It's I, uh, yeah, but like, okay, so Larry is going to do something like this because it's it's like, yeah. And it, I mean, there's a lot of dimension going on. There's, right. you know, I mean, that's that you're not going to just 
you know, cut that out um, on CNC the same way, right. you know, but um, say with initials or with things that are more straight, are you guys going to do that yourself? We, we can. I would think you we, would. We can, but we focus on making more of one thing, not of the same. So sometimes we'll yeah. do that. So for instance, like motifs, we already have like our bird. We'll do inlay of the bird at the swell fret. People love that. We did that for a Hawaiian artist, Dagen Bernstein, who got one of our Savoys with that. It looked great, it was awesome. Otherwise, Larry's great, because he, he'll he take a, lot, a little job. He'll take a medium job, he doesn't care. Right. He's yeah. great, he'll work with us. And to work with a guy that's been doing it for 50 years, oh, yeah. it's awesome, and and not, it's he doesn't, legend. yeah, it's legend. He doesn't need to do something as extensive as this. Right. This is a big deal, it's multiple artists involved. I remember from dealing with Larry before, he doesn't like to do two of the same things. No, he, uh, you doesn't. Know, he doesn't want to you know, get a commission for six of the exact right. same inlay. Right. You know? So right. no, yeah, it's exactly. a very creative you know, type of right. artist that he is, and he doesn't want to get bogged down with production. You exactly. Know? So if it's not just like geometric patterns, we'll do that. We'll do like that's El Capitan has this perloid. So say somebody somebody wants a tenor, but with these block we, cutout. That we would do in house, yeah, right? Yeah. That's exactly where it splits. Larry doesn't want to do something like that because that's better done on a, by a robot. Yeah, yeah. But the moment but it's oh something man, uh, in sunburst with the mini versions out. of those. Oh yeah, we did a few. Those are awesome. Yeah, now available at the uh, ukulele site. Uh, like not now, it, but <laughs> we well you can order it. Yeah, okay. From Andrew, maybe we should set up a custom order listing yeah. where you can piece it together. That, and then, you yeah. Know. So I'll, I'll get you a PDF. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll be going over that stuff, I'm not but even joking. Yeah, I mean that's what we're thinking about doing. But so that would be like we've actually done it, sort of like deluxe. Right. Right. You get you get the yeah you know, exactly you yeah. can get the pick art even mm -hmm. people have done rosettes. Mm -hmm. So just whatever you can dream, we'll do it, um, and maybe we'll standardize it together. You know. So. My takeaway from uh, you this year is entirely ECOA, focusing on that material. And I mean, that's your proprietary material that, yep. it, my opinion, sounds better than any other alternative wood material to date. So might as well Thank just for that. go yeah. full steam ahead with that. And then you've got the, the backs and necks looking nicer now with the new way that um, you, know, you guys are. Looking, sounding, them. feeling, the whole thing, yeah. We've kind of dialed in those, those replacement woods, right. if you will. From there, it's into custom you know options yes. and that can you know those the sky's the limit on that stuff exactly it's almost like two lines we have our non-painted line our standard line which is great has a nice you know high-end finish but it's it's not like we, we spray paint on it right if you want that high gloss look or if you want something custom we can do that now because we figured out how, all the other stuff over these last several years let me show you one of those uh, you guys will cut that. <laughs> Boom, he suddenly appears. So this, you know, this is a good example of a high gloss eco instrument, right? And so a customer may just want uh, a more vintage look or a high gloss look. Just tell us what your dream, dream is for paint. Again, this would be a more standard model that you guys already carry. Uh, and so you have whenever apparently. Is it a standard model or did we just get some that you well, happen to make? We started it last year with you guys, right? And and um, most of them have gone to you. Oh yeah, they sell real fast too. And so much. you're, you know, you've been just getting them regularly. Okay. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's not been a regular thing right, other right, than right. mostly with you guys. Cool. We occasionally will make a custom one in our shop, but this one actually has oh, a different. Kind of different yeah. This is a different, yeah. So that that's a custom experimentation. The, um, actually, this one I think we have in stock of. So we we'll have to talk about it. Yeah. But yeah. But you know yeah. what? Congratulations on these guitars because like sounded awesome but he was Thanks. just plugged in here you know and like wow yeah sounds perfect yeah For that slack key that yeah. deep bass and oh man so yeah i mean that's maybe something we haven't talked about that much but uh you know acoustically these are very resonant mm. we like to think that the soundboards are even more resonant than wood because the eco is lighter but for amplifi amplification, it's also um, taking advantage of the one-piece design, mm. right? So we build it as, as one structure. It's really a lot more rigid, and so that translates to much more sustain, string balance. It, you know, it's anathema to say it's almost more like an electric instrument once you plug it in, because those are more structurally sound. Does that make sense? Like, think of a through-neck electric guitar. Okay. They have more sustain. The necks are more rigid typically, and if you talk to anyone, it's all about the rigidity of the neck. The you know we're we're carbon reinforced inside the layup. These necks are so strong now, 
Uh, so they amplify beautifully, regardless of the uke or the guitar. It's just another angle. Um, and um, yeah. yeah, that definitely has something to do with it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, but you know, the entire thing is different. It's than, different, right? You know, traditional instruments all over right. the place here. So congratulations. Thanks, man. Should, can we do a real quick show? A couple more finishes. Sure. Yeah, I didn't just, realize we yeah. were. Yeah, absolutely. There's maybe too many options, but I think it's cool. It's just you know, custom orders, right? This, uh, so this, um, he's distracted cameraman. What's up? So uh, this one's got like a edge burst, more of a modern finish. Oh, okay. It's very subtle. And we're just experimenting now with different, you can see the older back. And this one also has the older back, but it's got more of a brown, vintage-y kind of finish. So both with a high gloss again, but most of them are that vintage burst you saw before, but this modern burst is getting pretty popular. I really like the burst on the Clara, too. Probably, cool. would, probably would show the other ones more than these, honestly. They're pretty because of the back. I forgot about the back. Old school back. Awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, well, we got we to keep moving. Yeah, but. Maybe I won't. No, you'll see me before.